Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Working on the flatbed again. So yesterday, or last last video, we built this entire deck, and it's turning out pretty sweet. Um, there's one change I decided to make before I go any further. So you can see here where this back comes in, and then it goes straight, and then angles back up. I thought I'd be able to make that kind of like a you know a cool little body line per se or cool little design but I don't know I don't like it it's I guess kind of hard to see on video but so what I'm gonna do is redo these pieces to come straight down to this corner um, so then it'll kind of flow a little better and it's actually pretty close angle but it's not exact so I already got this side done so that's how it's going to look and I'm going to fill all this in and it's also going to be all covered up anyway because the back when I bring my back down it's going to kind of come up here with plate for a little fender um, so that's going to be covered up anyway so I'm going to seal all this up anyway while some plate in there even though it is covered up um, it's just a place for water to go in and sit inside that rail and start rusting so I'm going to seal that up but we'll get this side done so I'm completely ditching these here's the old one and just build new ones because they got to be longer anyway so let's cut this off and uh, kind of match this side and then once that's done I'll go through cap those off and we'll be good, we'll be good with that Alright guys, I actually got this other one to work. Just had to do a little trimming on it instead of building a whole new one. It doesn't quit fit quite as good, but it'll do the job. So this whole top's gonna be plated, so that's not a big deal. I'll just put a little bit of weld right here, and it's all gonna be ground smooth. So that should work. I'm gonna tack that on, and then we can fill all this in. Alright guys, got these caps all welded in. It don't look pretty, but it's all covered up, so I'm not worried about that. This side's good too. So next, I'm going to start building this headache rack. I got this 4x2 that I'm going to use for it. So I'm going to get it up on here, kind of figure out. I think I might do just a, maybe a 6 inch straight section here and then angle it up. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys what I do when I figure that out. Alright guys, got a little update for you. So, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to film while I'm trying to figure this out myself. So, what I got here, this is going to go straight up. Five inches there. And this is angled back. That is angled that way. So, this is going to sit... just like that so it's going to come straight up angle in and then this angle is going to follow the cab up to the top so that's looking pretty freaking sweet so I'm stoked um, so yeah I just gotta make cut another chunk to go up I gotta figure out how high I want it and then copy this for the other side and hopefully I can cut it good enough to where it is identical and straight on both sides so we will see but there's always a little bit of fudge room you can since we're welding it you can move it around a little bit but it should be pretty good the fit up is perfect so and these are about this one is 10 degrees or 20 total degrees that one is 10 degrees back total so not too bad pretty easy to cut so we'll get the rest of that figured out and see how it looks
All right guys, got these uprights in. So now, before I go any farther, I'm gonna build this cross brace so that nothing moves. Um, these were kind of a pain to get even and straight. As soon as you tack it, it would pull one side. So I had to kind of mess around with it a little bit, but it's pretty good now. So I'm gonna get a crossbar in here, get that tacked in so this whole section will stay square and exactly where I want it and then I'll weld on my upper pieces so I got a piece right here I'm gonna cut that up see how it fits in there guys got this thing by myself so we got some clamps on here holding it up so that's all nice and square straight so I'm gonna tack that on all right guys there it is got that tacked on <clears throat> looking sweet I'm stoked to get this headache rack I got uh, so I'm planning on is coming up here another crossbar here and then I'll probably do kind of two slanted crossbars in between here and then this bottom part will be plate to protect that cab so that should look pretty sweet um, so I just got to cut those uprights and then I'm gonna come up and I think I might actually pull it like an inch above the actual crossbar and I like I like that style where it sticks up just a little bit above that top crossbar and yeah so it should look pretty sweet she's coming along rack is pretty much complete I got a cap I'm gonna cap the tops um, so I made up these I was gonna do crossbars in that rack kind of like that and that but I got <clears throat> put them up there and I didn't really like it so I think I got a different plan for the to kind of spice up that headache rack 
I think I'm going to leave that window section open. Um, plus, I don't like looking in the back and seeing, you know, the big bars in the way anyway. So, that's, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to plate from here all the way down <clears throat> so that'll protect the cab. But the window, I'm not that worried about. I mean, there's not much that's going to be that high. So, and obviously that's got a lot more protection than a stock anyway. So, there it is. So, I angled it, followed the cab up, and all those angles look pretty good. This thing looks straight. So, I'm pretty stoked. That thing's turning out a lot better than I anticipated. So, looking pretty cool. So the last thing I need to do is build, uh, put my last mount in here. So I'm going to put a piece of tube between this rail and get my mount in here and this rear hole. So let's do that real quick and then we should be done with the tubing on here. All right guys, these, these rear mounts are good to go. So other than that, we should be good to go on uh, tubing. Pretty much, uh, I think that's all the tube we really need to do. Unless I decide to run some in here, which I haven't decided yet, to kind of strengthen um, the bottom. I'm gonna do eighth inch plate, so I'm gonna see how stiff that is. If it moves a little bit, I think I might run one down the center maybe, but we'll see. I need to figure out this filler neck. So I, I see a lot of guys just kind of mount it right here. Um, it doesn't look, I don't know, it looks kind of tacky to me. I kind of want to remount it up here maybe, or I don't know, somewhere. So let me know what you guys think. If you got any ideas for that filler neck, let me know. If you got any other ideas on the whole flatbed build in itself, let me know. Um, throw, throw a comment down. So yeah, that wraps up this video guys. Next video, we're going to be doing the plate. Uh, hopefully that comes in soon. This Hopefully it doesn't take as long as that tube. That took like a week or even longer than a week. So I'm hoping it doesn't take that long. Um, so yeah, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you guys in the next video.